Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another recipe video. We're gonna be doing an air fryer recipe today. The ingredients couldn't be simpler, so if you wanna see how to make this, stick around. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Ingredients you're gonna need are a whole chicken. I always like to wait till the whole chickens go on sale at my local groceries. I only paid $4.61, and this one was way bigger than what I actually needed. Some Tony Sacheries or any type of Cajun seasoning. I love this Montreal chicken by McCormick. The grill mates, so good on chicken if you haven't tried it. And some butter. That is it. Simple, simple ingredients. It couldn't be easier. So the first thing we're going to do, I know this is going to look super hella gross, but we are going to take butter and we are going to basically give our chicken a bath in butter. I mean, butter and chicken and that's pretty much it. How can you go wrong with that first off? So legit, like look, I am bathing my chicken in butter. I do this with my turkeys too for Thanksgiving, y'all. Y'all comment down below if you just give your chicken or poultry a really nice butter bath. I know it looks super gross, but it makes the actual chicken so moist and delicious and juicy. Now I'm gonna go in with my seasonings. I'm just gonna sprinkle my Montreal and my Tony Sacheries on the top and the bottom. And I'm also gonna try to get some seasoning under the skin because we don't always eat the skin so I like to have it on the chicken itself now we're putting it in the air fryer make sure that your air fryer is big enough for your entire chicken 350 degrees for 30 minutes on each side I will tell you that with this chicken especially I had to cook mine a little bit longer because this chicken was much larger than what I've cooked in the past but if you have an average size whole chicken 350 for 30 minutes on each side should be enough and it will come out looking just like this. Oh, so gorgeous, beautiful, juicy, tender. I'm telling y'all, this is the easiest way to make an entire chicken besides the crock pot, but it's so crispy with the skin and the meat is so juicy. Spot on y'all and terrific. Great for keto, great for any meal. You don't have to be on a keto journey for this, guys, just to eat it in general if you like chicken. I'm serving mine on the side with asparagus and some leftover southern keto garlic biscuits that I made. So y'all give this video a huge thumbs up if you love recipe videos from me. And if you like recipe videos in the air fryer especially, give it a huge thumbs up. Give it a big share with somebody that needs inspiration with their air fryer or needs ideas for keto meals. And if you're not subscribed already, I love Love to have you a part of the fam so make sure you hit that notification bell down below and all your notifications are clicked if you make this air fryer chicken if you follow me on instagram please tag me in a post or in a story so i can reshare it and see what you're whipping up in the kitchen alongside or any twists that you make with this recipe i love seeing how y'all change up the recipes that i share or what you're going to be doing with them so please please give me a big tag on instagram if you make them Thank you so much for watching, guys. Y'all have an amazing Friday. An awesome weekend coming up ahead, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.